What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my live stream testing Zorark and Galissapod. Zorark Galissapod today. Um, I'll put the list up in a second. <coughs> it's not too different from uh, Tord's list that he won EUIC with. So I made a couple changes. I added a float stone, I took out the mime and the mute 2, and I upped the uh, Galissapod line to a 4-3. Just to consistently get out Galissapod, because the problem we have in the Zorark Lycanroc matchup is that they can just target down our wind pods really quick. So if we can get more out and get them out more consistently, that's good for us. So I'm expecting that to help in that matchup. <laughs> All right, let's get into the games. So what I'm looking for in this testing is <clears throat> uh, pretty much see if the few changes I made, if I like them, if it's running consistently enough for me to have it as a choice for a League Cup, and if the changes help the Zorak like in Rock matchup at all. Not a bad hand. We got our Zerua Star, and we have a Lele to get the turn one Bridget. So we're playing against Gardevoir. I think Gardevoir Solvian is going to make a comeback in the next couple weeks. Yeah, we'll draw two mulligans. Hmm. Pretty good first turn here. I think we'll get Bridget for Azuru and two Wimpods. Attach to the bench Zerua and pass. Our opponent also has the turn one Bridget. Should be a good game if we both get set up. So they are playing the Sylveon version. I think that's the better version right now. Attach retreat. Okay. Evolve Zorark. I don't know that I would have gotten... I guess the two Eevees are so I don't just target the one. Let's trade away Sycamore. Now we're going Guzma Ralt, and that's pretty much the game plan in this matchup. You just want to knock out their Ralts and Curlias.
I imagine they're gonna try to yeah so they're gonna try a magical ribbon here but we have an N <sighs> we have an N in our hand to take care of that Double puzzle early. Um, I do want a Guzma, but I don't think I want to waste two puzzle time on it. So let's see what we can get here. Let's trade Acerola. I want a Guzma the Curlia, but I'm probably going to, yeah, we're just going to end up using N. To get rid of what they magical ribboned for. Or we could Guzma the Curlia so what they magical ribboned for doesn't even matter. Because it's probably a Guardi or a Gallade. Yeah, I think we'll I think that's probably the better move. So let's trade again. I'll get rid of the end since we're going to Guzma now. We got a Guzma, so we're good. So if they never get set up, they. If we just keep hitting every Ralts they put down, they'll never have a Gallade and we'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, they're gonna end. Ends will never really hurt us too much because... Uh, we have two Zorark GXs in play. Plea GX. I guess they're gonna get rid of our Zorarks. Yeah. Alright, we'll just reset up, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, I could armor press. Yeah, let's armor press. We don't need a float stone. Two armor presses is a knockout, so yeah, we'll just go with this. And they used their GX attack without putting down a Ralt, so they pretty much just stalled the turn without even developing their board. Energy Recycler. Hmm. Alright, uh, probably not playing against an Optimal List then. They should just play Super Rod instead of Energy Recycler. So they end us. We get a Mallow, so worst scenario. We just set up our top deck. Hmm. And again, they have no Ralts down, and they're going to Magical Ribbon. Okay, 
Guzma. Um, we're just going to Mallow. Put a Zork. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put two Zork GXs on top. Next turn we'll top deck one, then trade into the other. So they get two routes down, but I think that's going to be too late. I think we have control of this game now. <sighs> that actually helps us a lot because now we can just goose them up a route. That's really good for us. Or if we hit an Acerola, I can just Acerola this Galissapod and then um, take two prizes off the Sylveon. And then take our last two prizes off of Otapu Lele. Look at that Azoric GX. Who would have thunk? Trade away Galissapod. Evolve another one. Let's trade away Fuel Blower. And what do we want to do? I think we just Guzma or Alt. And we'll attach a Grass Energy to Galissapod. Armor Press. So they have one Ralts in play now. So with a choice spin, they'll be doing 190 um, because of our armor press. So they would need, I'm not sure that they can knock us out here actually. They max potion their Sylveon, but we still have um, crossing cut choice band on a Lele for the game as an option after we get one of their one prizers. Yeah, so they'll hit us for 160. Um, we're going to try to hit a, a an Acerola here or a Guzma to get their other Ralts. Uh, let's trade away an N. Okay, that's good. Um, we'll trade away as a Rua. Ultra Ball. Get another Zorark. I'm not going to end here anyway, so let's just trade away the end. So we didn't get a Guzma or an Acerola. Um, I guess we'll just armor press here. 
And I don't want a Sycamore because I want to keep that puzzle. We can trade for six more cards plus the seventh card that we're going to top deck. So we have a good chance of hitting that, uh, of that hitting the, another puzzle. They're probably going to get a max potion. I didn't want to use cross and cut there because we might need that to win the game on a Tapu Lele GX. Okay, they got an Ultra Ball. They might be out of max potion then. Let's see. They've used two. Yeah, since they're running Sylveon, it's actually really likely that they ran out of max potions. They're going to Candy Glade. And then KO this Glissapod after setting the top deck for next turn. They knock us out with infinite force um we're gonna be looking for huh, what do we want i think we're gonna want to armor press here no the only league cup around me was in new york and I'm in South Jersey, so that is, like, I think it was, like, close to three hours, plus it snowed really bad, so it would have definitely been at least three hours, plus tolls, plus trying to find parking, and then three hours back, so that just wasn't worth it for a League Cup. Well, let's trade... If we didn't already use Mallow, that would be a good choice here. Um, let's trade again. Uh, get rid of that grass energy that we don't want. Let's trade away this Bridget. Okay, so... I think we're just going to have to Sycamore here and go for this armor press. And we didn't hit it. That sucks. We can get rid of their uh, DCE with the Enhanced Hammer. Um, go ahead and drop down another Wimp Pod. And we're just going to First Impression for 60. <sighs> I have three DCE left, I believe. Yep. Nine card deck, three DC, one might be priced. I'm not sure, I forgot to check. <clears throat> Only one puzzle in the discard.
There's the DC. Um, we have one Guzma left. If we can Guzma that Guardi and then next turn crossing cut Glade or knock out this Eevee, we'll win. So let's actually let's check our deck. Let's see what's in there. Three puzzle, one Guzma, one DC. So we actually have two DC prized. Um, let's get this out and we'll trade it away. Oh no, I'm sorry. We just drew a DC. So we have one prized. That's what I thought. Okay. All good. So we're just going to Guzma this. I don't want to... I don't think we need to draw anymore. Uh, Guzma this. Hit it with Zorark. And then they'll bring up Gallade. One shot our Zorark. And then we'll one shot their Gallade with Crossing Cut for the game. Even if they end us here, um, we will uh, have two trades, so we'll just get it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Sylveon, Gardevoir, Gardevoir, Sylveon, I think it's looking pretty good. At least for the meta that we've had in the North Jersey Cups. I think Gardevoir Sylveon's looking pretty good. Are you coming down to the Maze Landing Cup at Nirvana? The nerd cup's usually small, but I don't know if there's any other cups on that day in the area, so <sighs> a lot of people might come down to it. So that's game one. We won against Gardevoir. <laughs> Uh, Mace Landing, New Jersey. <laughs> January 6th. And then I'm going to a cup the day after that. Um, somewhere in Delaware, January 7th. I forget where. It might be Wil- No, it's not Wilmington. I don't know. It's in Delaware, though. So New Jersey 6th, Delaware 7th, both standard. Oh, I don't like this hand. <laughs> I don't like this hand. Mm. You know, I was considering doing something with dumbbells. Like there was, uh, there were some Alolan Nine Tails dumbbells and some Galisopod, some Galisopod dumbbells leading up to Hartford, and then those ideas just fell off. But I definitely don't think it's a bad idea. Yeah, we just have to go DC Sycamore. Okay. 
still not too great. Uh, they have Shrubbish, so we're not going to get rid of our Field Blower. No one's playing the four field blower in the Zorak Elisipod. Buzzwell like it rocks only playing one. Um Zorak like rocks playing two. Oh <laughs> You're right, Lex, people are dumb. Ant thought I was streaming on Twitch. He's been over there on Twitch waiting. Um, yeah, we can just win here, right? That was easy. I wasn't even paying attention to the game. Too busy talking to the chat. Might be. Retreat, damn it. There we go. <laughs> he was losing anyway. And didn't you make top cut with a golly garb with dumbbells? I thought you made top eight with it. It's not a discussion of our dumbbells good, it's a discussion of is my opponent dumb? <laughs> yup, there it is. We need a Lex group chat. We don't have one of those. <laughs> I thought when Ant said it, I was like, what you mean group chat with Lex? I'm not in this. Yeah. Yeah. That was expected, I think. It's a cool strat though, like Loranis, Zorark, trade the energies away, attach with Loranis. It's a very nice concept. Yeah. Um, Buzzwell Lycanroc, I honestly think was, was the meta call, like, at the last League Cup I went to, but Peekabulu just beat it oh sick we won gg top quality gameplay here mm.
Yeah, well, let's see. The Loranus and the Buzz hit the, um... Possibly, there might be a message limit. I'm not too sure. I'm super new to YouTube Live. Also to the, uh... The plugin I'm using to make the chat pop up, so I'm not sure. <sighs> oh. Azul's Galissapod Garbador list. Wait, you threw up because of um, Azul's Garbo list? Galissa Garbador? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it didn't run Trash Lynch. It was there purely for ability. Well, Buzz, you hit their Lycanrocs and their Regirocs for weakness. You one-shot them. Hmm. We're going to get Bridget here. <clears throat> Bridget for Zorak 2 1 pod. That sounds good. Uh, Zorua 2 1 pod. Nah, bro, we got trade. We got another top deck. We got trade or Gucci. Bro, you gotta believe, man. I'm not gonna drop this DC because we're playing against a Zorak deck. It's probably enhanced hammers in there, so. Oh, we're playing against Zorak Decidui. Okay. We're going to drop this Grass Energy for the trade. Got an Ultra Ball and a Mallow. Hmm. Well, we need that. We don't necessarily need that. I guess we can just set up our top deck for next turn. Or we could end. Yeah. I'll just Sycamore, actually. I didn't like that hand, actually. Because <laughs> if we Ultra Ball... Because we needed to attach the DCE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good. You probably thought I had another Zorak or something. This is nice, too. Yeah, it, it, had a, it had potential to be a good hand. My mouse is freaking out. I think my batteries are low. So we can take the early game here just because they have to set up a bit. But once their decidueyes are going, if they get going, we could be in trouble. <laughs> 
Yo, Jerome, thanks for the subscribe, man. Thanks for supporting Ludy Luke. I'm not sure if I watch Igor's games on stream with this deck. Um, I definitely saw him on stream once, so if he was only um, if he was only on there once, then yeah, I saw that match. Jerome uh, Balone twenty four. Uh, plays like Fortnite and Overwatch with us and I think he's heard your name. <laughs> Alright, so they did 130 to us. We can just ace Arola. They have a pretty good setup going though. Um two Evo sodas, a rare candy, yeah not bad. Um but I think we're just gonna ace Arola. Let's do two trades first. Lex, do you like Overwatch or not like Overwatch? Hmm. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and scoop this bad boy up. And then sock it to him. I started playing a lot like season four, I think. Yeah, they did those the ranks like that for just the first season, I think. this past season it's super toxic on on xbox terrible in there i'm gonna start playing on pc i just have to get good at uh shooting on pc first <laughs> um okay so here we can just go for another acerola play If we don't get the Acerola, we'll just Guzma the Rowlet and hit that. Got the Acerola. Acerola and Grass Energy for later. Hmm. 
actually maybe we'll use the grass energy now um doesn't really matter but i'd rather my galissapa get hit instead of the zorark so i guess we'll do that yeah that's better Yeah, the old tank meta. Lucio tank meta. So they got a third Decidui, which means they'll be knocking out our Zerua probably here. Max Potion on the Zorark, oh my god, that's nutty. Yeah, I was watching uh, Rare Candy's Leafeon deck profile on like their game with uh, that versus Garchomp. And it looks pretty good. If you build the deck around the turn one uh, Grand Bloom, I think it's called. Something bloom. If you build around that, then turn to uh, evolving like your Dartrixes and your Rowlets into other Dartrix and Decidueyes, and then your Zerua into a Zorark. Seems good. I don't think Cyrus will see play. We're gonna get back max potions. Yup. Okay. Anybody want to tell me what I do here? How do I win? Huh. Fine, Dan. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think I'm going to put down another Zerua because they'll just, uh, throw six onto it. But I can put down another Wimp Pod. I can put down another Wimp Pod. They can't knock that out in one shot. Um, yeah, we're just going to armor press. <laughs> but they have all those max potions, so who knows what's going to happen here? <sighs> and I'll play you later when I'm done streaming. I'm actually playing against some decent stuff on ladder, so I figure I'll stay on it. Yeah, this matchup kind of blows, doesn't it? Uh, 
Ah, uh, they can knock out anything with riders feeding and three feather arrows. It's nuts. Ant, you were testing uh, Sword Arc Decidueye for a while. Does it just always beat this deck? Because it seems pretty one-sided if they get Decidueyes out. Okay, I just suck. Cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they'll brick sometimes. Other times they'll get this and then Espeon and then... Uh... Oh, yeah, I couldn't... I couldn't go early aggression on their Rallets or, just, or uh, Dartrix. I'm just going to scoop this game. There's no winning this. So for those of you just joining live, um, I'm playing 4-3 Galissapod, so it's kind of mirroring the Zorak Lycanroc build. Um, I figured 3-2, I wanted to make it 4-3 so you get these out more consistently, you can always go aggressive, and in the matchups you don't want to use Zorak against, you have more attackers. And I also put in a float stone. about to find out. I mean I'm playing against. Yep. Yes, that is what it is. It, we're SB on garb. I don't know about the Drampa. Hmm. No, I'm not what I'm playing. What I'm playing against, you mean? Um, I'm at 90 CP. I haven't gotten any CP this quarter yet. And I think Ant's at like 150. He's killing it. How many uh, regionals have you placed at, Richard? Mm -hmm. 
No, no, no. I'm not playing. Oh, did you see the mole again and, like, think that I was playing it? Nice. Yeah, I haven't... I've only been to one regional, which was Hartford, and I did not place at that. We didn't have enough for top 256. What did I go at Hartford? I think I went 5 2 2 or 4 2 3. I might have had three ties. Yeah, I do think Guardi Sylveon is still good. Yeah, I remember that. That was an upset. Yeah, I faced Greninja round one and didn't play Tina that day. Yeah, Balone24 played uh, Golly Garb. He made day two. What was your record against Fire? It was something impressive. Um, oh crap, I should have feel lowered first. I'm an idiot. Got too caught up in the chat. Forgot about the Poe Town. Let's get rid of Puzzle of Time. Unfortunately. Um... Do we need what do we need on here? Oh, that'll be fine. Um, we'll do that. Field blower this late. <sighs> Flying flip. No, I. Ant's going to. Ant's going to day two internet. ball for a sycamore yeah just just straight sycamore just no lele in between just the sycamore Not bad, but no energy, right? Oh, we got a DC in there. We good. That's right. From the uh, from the uh, thingamajig, the Coco. All right, here we're looking for another basic, and then we're gonna. Acerola for Choice Band and DCE. Didn't get the basic, so what do we do? Put all the floatstone in here. 
I guess we'll just not knock out this Lele this turn. So I'll go for... We'll play two. Actually, if we DCE a retreat and then choice band the Galissapod, we'll get the knockout. There we go. Yeah, Pram is... It's ridiculous that he performs that consistently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. No Espeon in the deck. <sighs> and N. Okay. Acerola here, probably. <laughs> Let's get rid of this Glossopod. And we get another. Digging for that Acerola. Got a Mallow. But we should have another Lele in the deck. I believe all three were there. We do, and there's two Acerola left. Very good. Um, do I want a Guzma retreat and then attack? Hit the Trub. Hang on, let's let's look in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one sixty. Yeah, I guess I should limit the Trubs that they'll play. So. They have to choose between Garbotoxin and Trash Lanch. And sir, are you going to St. John's now? Because you were going to uh, Binghamton originally, right? Like, that was your pick.
Trash Lanch Knockout. Um, guess we'll just go ahead and knock out this Trash Lanch. Oh, you got full ride? Oh my god. Yeah, you have to go there. <laughs> so smart, so Pokemon. Uh, let's grab this and DC. Pod, and then we'll ride a speeding KO. And then we just need to knock out the Lele. Or we might end up knocking out the Espeon, but Lele will be easier. <sighs> All we need for Lele is Guzma Choice Band. Yeah, who's my choice fan? That's not Guzmo or Choice Band. Come on now. Uh hang on. Thirteen cards in the deck. Two Guzma left, one choice two choice band left. Two choice band left. Um Yeah, let's trade. Not it. That's the choice band. Uh, let's do one thing on our deck. No, because if we miss it, then I want to use this Acerola and the Field Blower. So let's just trade the last time. See if we hit it. Guzma. There we go. And that's game. Mm. Alright, so I definitely like having the 4-3 Galissapod in the end. Um, what do you guys think of the list? I just made a few changes. It's mostly, uh, uh, so Valley Xerneas. I personally don't like it. I just, I don't know. I don't think it has enough to beat the meta right now. I could be wrong. But like, so Valley's with the fighting, uh, Xerneas, it's dependent on hitting your max elixirs and getting the early geomancy. So this is the list right now. Um, I don't think anything. I don't think there's anything I'm going to change. I really like it. It's pretty consistent, but I probably still like Zorak like and Rock better. I'll probably do tomorrow's stream playing uh, Zorak like and Rock again. All right. So uh, thank you guys to everyone that tuned in. I'm going to get off now, and if you're watching this recorded at a later date. Thank you for tuning in to Celio's Network and I'll see